you're going to have to be way more serious. You're going to have to care more. You're going to have to work harder. You're going to do things that you've never done before. Hi, my name is Devin. Today I own several multi-million dollar companies. We started with $5,000 in a credit card. I don't know the easy way. I only know the hard way. Hey everyone, welcome to the Whiteboard Entrepreneur Podcast, where I give straightforward advice to fuel the entrepreneur in all of us. I'm Devin Dickinson, and today I want to talk to you about going to the extremes. And uh, this is a, a, an interesting concept that I have to give you a bit of a backstory in order to really explain fully, and, and hopefully you guys are going to pick it up where I'm going with this. Um, but it was a while back, about six months ago, I was super frustrated with myself because I'm now 50 years old. And for the last eight years, I've wanted to lose 25 pounds. And listen, I, you know, I work out. I really do. I probably consistently over the course of a year work out, call it three times a week on average over the course of the year. Some weeks are way better than others, no doubt. Um, And, you know, I would say I eat you know, average, right? I have some really good times and really bad times, but like I don't eat terrible, especially compared to a lot of people I know. And I will make an honest run every once in a while, like losing this, losing this weight. And uh, I think I've gone and, you know, maybe lost five, six. I think the most I've gone down is like eight pounds. And uh, sure enough, you know, a few weeks later, I end up just basically gaining them back. And uh, I was frustrated and I was thinking to myself, like, you know, I need to find someone who is a friend of mine, you know, someone in my age, you know, age bracket, someone that I can relate to. And I'm going to reach out to that person. I'm going to make them hold me accountable. Just like, you know, I work with people, entrepreneurial stuff. I'm going to work, I'm going to find a friend of mine and this person is going to hold me accountable to losing this 25 pounds and I'm going to get there. And so I was excited about it. And I started thinking, 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 I couldn't find anyone. So I got my phone. I pulled my phone out and I started scrolling through my phone. I have a long contact list. I'm scrolling through my phone, scrolling through my phone, scrolling through my phone, scrolling through my phone, scrolling through my phone. Literally zero. I found zero friends, associates, people that I know that were basically in my age bracket that accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. And I was like, very frustrated because I realized I started, I'm like, you know, on TikTok, on Instagram, I see people and I follow people that are doing what I want to do, right? Or have done what I've wanted to do. But it's funny, every time I look at that person, you know what I think? I'm like, oh, wow, they look great, but they're a psycho, you know? Oh, wow, they're great, but gosh, they go to the extreme. Oh, wow, I'd love to, you know, look like that, but oh my gosh, I can't believe that they don't put butter on their popcorn. You know, like I'm looking at all this stuff and I'm going, these people are psychos. And then all of a sudden I realized something. I'm like, if you want to accomplish your dreams, you've got to go to the extreme. And uh, this is not popular. People don't want to hear this, but this is why we don't accomplish our big goals in life. Big goals in business is because we're not willing to go to the extreme. It's why I'm capable of losing five pounds, eight pounds, you know, do a little good and then kind of fall backwards, right? It's why your companies are capable of like, eh, we had a good year back in, you know, 2018, but, you know, 2019 was down, 2020 was up, 2021 was down, right? It's the same thing as like with our weight, right? Like we have good days, bad days. We have good years, bad years. Our company's doing good. It's not doing good. It's because we're willing, not willing to go to that extreme. And I think about it, I'm like, ah, you know what? In order for me to lose this weight, when I go to the movies, I can't order popcorn and and a large Coke. But I want popcorn and a large Coke. But if I want to go to the extreme that I need to go, like, it's all got to be gone. Like, Like, there's no, like, middle ground. And that's what we try to do in our businesses. We try to, like, have a thriving, growing business that is something special but we're not willing to put into it what we need to put into it. We're not willing to invest our lives into it. And here's the thing. I'm not telling you like you need to neglect your children, but there's going to be some hard decisions you're going to have to make in your life. If you want to take that company to the next level, if I want to lose more than five pounds, I got to be way more dedicated than I am. 
If you want to take your company past, you know, one and a half million dollars, you're going to have to be way more dedicated than you are. You're going to have to be way more serious. You're going to have to care more. You're going to have to work harder. You're going to do things that you've never done before. And this is not popular. People want the magic word. There is no magic word for me to lose 25 pounds. I've tried them. I've tried all of the, you know, I'll just cut this out. I'll do this workout, you know, for 20 minutes in the morning or whatever. And you know what? I lose five pounds. That's it, right? You can, you know, do these little things in your company and you can take it from 1.5 million to 1.7 million, right? But you're not going to build the empire that you want. If you want your dream, you have to to be willing to go to the extremes. I'm Devin. This is Whiteboard Entrepreneur Podcast. And if you apply and what we talked about in this lesson today to your business, to your life, it will change you. I'm Devin. This is Whiteboard Entrepreneur. And I know this will help. Take a quick moment and hit that subscribe button for more content.